next project is for Matt in Maryland. And uh, I take it he is keeping all the bric a brac front that goes on. This is what he shut me in the box. Uh, and here's the dial. Nice looking dial. The uh, bellows. Wait a second. These look like original leather. As far as I can see, there are no holes in them. Uh, look in good shape. the movement and uh, typical cast brass. You're working on this. So let's clean up and then we're going to install make sure it's running. Okay, here's the movement and some of these uh, brass castings are pretty crude. So, uh, very nice looking very old movement. Looks like there's been some work done on it before. There's a bushing here. Uh, looks like there might be other bushings on it, but they're much older. That looks relatively new. Looking on the back side, of course, this is kind of a mess. Uh, don't like seeing all of those bends. Uh, same with the lifts for the, for the whistles. These are all kind of... Well, uh, there's a unique way to shorten. <laughs> Put a twist in it. Okay. And I don't see anything on this side. Well, there's a new bushing up in here, too. So, we will... Anyway, I guess we'll take it apart and clean it and then check it out for worn bushings right now. It's a little too hard to tell what we might have until we make sure there's no dirt in the thing. So let's take it apart. Well, I think first maybe what I'll do is put the chains on and see if it runs. Put the proper weight on particular style movement and uh, to check it out and it does run okay little bird he's got a problem with his left wing doesn't work and somebody's painted that gold it needs to be cleaned and repainted and interesting little mount on it there's a piece of wood and screw underneath so we'll take the bird off and we'll be working on it later. Okay we got the birdies wires all straightened out. Uh, this wire here had come out of this loop so this wing wasn't working. This was all bent so now when we Move that, the wings are working the way they're supposed to. Okay. And the mouth works. Everything's working, so let's we'll clean this up and uh, then put the proper paint on it. Okay, there's the bird. Okay, so now the bird wings work again. Got all of that straightened away. Its little mouth works. So when it's bumped up, both of the wings will come out. And it will look like this from the front. Oops, get my fingers out of the way. There he is, birdie already, 
These little wires are really a booger to get. Right, but anyway, we got the wings working again. Okay, running nicely in the case. Cleaning, check everything, straighten all the wires, clean it, Let's see how she goes. I'm going to start by taking the bird perch off that's held on two brackets with two screws. Oh man, that one's really, really loose already. Front pieces off. Got to uh, remove this pin. No C clips anyway. Okay, take this pin out. We can wash her off. And this can come off. This should. Yeah, that comes off. Man, it's sticky. And there is a tension washer underneath that acts as the clutch. Okay, and that's about all we can do. Uh, we're not going to be able to take the main wheel out. There, I see a real problem here. Um, this small gear here. this gear right here that runs the count wheel is supposed to have the uh, arbor from the main wheel comes through the plate and is supposed to extend out far enough that there's a hole drilled horizontally or perpendicular to the axis of the arbor it's supposed to be a hole through it and then the gear itself has a hole in it that you can see right there. And as you can see, we can see through that hole. And that 
that's right, right here you can see that hole. That's supposed to have a pin through it that extends through the gear and then through the hole in the arbor so that this is tight. Evidently somebody's somebody's messed with this thing and I'm, af I'm afraid to try to take this off. I've got to get it off if I'm going to properly clean this thing. But it's very clear to me that somebody somebody cut off the end of the arbor and I don't know if they peened it and uh, yeah. has that uh, now a friction fit it shouldn't be but that gear should come off we may end up having to put a new uh, a new arbor in and do it properly drill a hole in it but it's obvious that somebody has really messed with this in the past if I look at it I can see can see file marks here this has been filed off and it's been filed flat with the thing in the, the, the hole through the gear itself is nearly gone um, I'm gonna see if I have another one of those I've got some some of these junk movements around I'll see if I have one so there should be a just a pin through there that keeps that on uh, but this has to come off to be able to take this completely apart and I can see that this has been filed down enough that it's literally starting to go into the hole and see where the hole has been filed away uh, I'm afraid to damage I don't want to damage this because I right now don't have any ability to to make gears uh, I may have to do something with this. Uh, I may end up having to rebuild this piece of gear. I could add a piece on the end, silver solder it, drill it out on the lathe, drill a new hole through there, put a new arbor on that great wheel and uh, drill a hole through it and restore this to the way it's supposed to be because if I'm, I got to get this out to be able to, to do justice to this to cleaning this and I don't think it doesn't feel like that's worn but it needs to be taken completely apart well we'll see when we get there I'm going to go ahead and separate the plates and take these pieces out uh, what I did see too when I had this running in the case was that there is some wear here on this lever well, that's really crudely cast or on the on this cam that's keeping the cuckoo from operating correctly and of course the wires are all bent to daylights somebody was went crazy with with bending I see things like this how bent up that is. Uh, somebody did a terrible job of adjusting those. Anyway, I noticed too that when this was at the end of its run, which should be here, uh, at, uh, this is going to keep it from operating properly when this uh, maybe you want to take it apart I can explain it better but when this end of this brass lever is down as far as it'll go that's when this wheel uh, should hit this detente to stop things and uh, it's just almost missing it if I don't hold that down so it's it's out of sync it's not uh, so this is coming around and there let's see it's missing 
it's missing that, uh, that detente going underneath. That's uh, excessive amount of wear. We may have to add a piece of brass to this so that that catches correctly. All right, let's get the stuff out of here. Yeah, it's gonna, like most of these, there's a lot of age on them. Yeah, a lot of them take a lot more work than what it initially looks like. Uh, the same things get worn out on these in this area with that, uh, with that brass lever and, the, and that uh, cam. Except for this main wheel here, because that uh, gear hasn't going to come off. Okay, there's it. Oh yeah, that's it's got some wear on it. time. Here's what's critical on these. Let's see how bad. Oh, that's not badly worn at all. Sometimes these flop back and forth so bad that this click can literally fall down between the, the, the teeth on the uh, ratchet and the wheel and then you have a weight dropping all the way to the floor. This one looks okay. Teeth are a little worn, but it'll be all right. Okay, well, take the rest of this stuff out and see where we're at. There's the hammer. Here's the little one. And there's the big one. Examine this for a while and see if there is a way I can get get that off of there without damaging it. Okay, I was able to loosen that up. Actually, using with these end cutters, I was able to slide behind there and pull, and that came right off. Okay, now we're in good shape. We'll check this out to see if we can rebuild that. Okay, here's that small gear. You can see there's the hole. It's supposed to have a pin through it. And this thing has been filed down to where that whole edge has been mangled. And that's not good. Anyway, well, I've got to evaluate this and see what I can do to maybe correct that. The other part, here's the corresponding hole in the arbor that's supposed to, supposed to line up with the hole in that little gear. But as you can see, that hole 
is missing. Half of it. That's where it was, the pin was supposed to go through. Alright, here's another wheel from the junk pile. And here's what the end of the arbor is supposed to look like. And when we look at the gear that goes in there, There's what it should look like. Now this is very dirty, but it's supposed to have a hole straight through it. And then this is supposed to have a hole. And when you put these together, You line up the holes, like so. You put a pin through it, and that holds it in place. Ten teeth, and the gear on the movement we're working on has eleven teeth. So they're not compatible. But you can see, clearly see the difference here between what's supposed to be there and what we're dealing with here. There, I can think you can see them. Put them this way. One on the left is what it's supposed to look like. One on the right is the one we're dealing with. Even if I turn this the other side. And same. This is what we have to work with. And here's what it's supposed to look like. So, ain't right. And uh, we individually hand clean these things. This is before cleaning. And we'll look at it after. Yeah, it's a little cleaner. Okay, this tip was too short and the stop was had been worn off. So I added a well, basically an S-shaped piece or Z-shaped piece backward, you know. And uh, silver soldered, and I'm going to file things off to re to uh, clean it up and make it work. surface for stopping. There's the extension of the tooth. We'll see how it works. Whether it's too much, it is. We'll just grind it down a little bit and see how it goes. But that's done. Okay, here's what we look like after cleaning. Uh, lantern pinions. 
they're not bad. I mean, they look good and clean. They've got down deep into them. Some of them are a little worn, but they aren't uh, free rotating in the in the shrouds. So I was able to turn the worn parts down so that they have fresh surfaces to work on. So the only thing we really have to work on now before we can put this all back together is a problem with this little gear. Um, now that it's cleaned up, you can see what I was talking about here with, see the hole in that uh, post has been taken out. You see the, the hole in the post is gone. So I think what I'll do, just take this just as if it were a pivot. And I'll turn, I'll cut this off here drill out the arbor to fit in a new piece and I'll turn that on the lathe to match this one but we'll make it just a little bit longer so we can put a new hole in there and then for this I think we've got to cut that uh, cut that collar off and uh, well, maybe that hole will be okay if I just cut like a washer, go on top and close that uh, that hole, this hole is at least somewhat intact. If I silver solder just a disc of brass on top of that to close that hole along with uh, a new hole or a new post here and we can use this to line up, drill a hole in the post and have it back to what it should be and with making the redoing that end piece I noticed that a number of these pins are loose and literally falling out so I'm going to uh, be replacing the loose ones with new wires. Alright, these wires or these pins are about no, it says about 1.2 1. 1. 1.2 1.2, 1.2 millimeters, all right, I'll get some wire, look at that, let's see what we got here, uh, these are different wires, here we go, let's go, here's real pinion wire here, uh, okay, 1.95, 1.95, One point four, one point two, right there. One point two millimeters. That'll be the stuff we need. Okay. All right. Remember, these pins are worn. We have a. just go ahead and replace them all and they won't be worn like that I'll put them in cloth so they don't fly off they're going to three four six Okay. 
real easy to pull these out. Not in there very good. So I'm literally full. Now that one's tight. just a little bit from the back or from yeah from the back so I'll go tight and I'll put a little bit of uh, put a little bit of Loctite in there I'm gonna make this part first I need to find out about how long the finish to sticking out has to be and that has got to go just beyond that hole. I don't want to leave a little extra. I can always grind off the edge. Uh, grind off the end. Let me go out. Okay, that looks like about, why don't I just cut it 10 millimeters? 10 millimeters. Yeah, that'll be plenty. It sticks out a little bit, it won't hurt. Give a little extra meat on the end. So 10 millimeters long, that has to be. is the piece that I made and it's got a hole through the center and now this will go in here and that then will this will be attached to that here's the tiny gear done and uh, put a little cap on the top We have a nice clean hole through that now. And then put the new end on the here to close the ends of that hole so that now this gear when it goes on can be lined up with the holes and attached properly. Well, let's see if I got a taper pin in here just to check it out.
might be a little big. Anyway, we'll end up with a pin going through here like so. And that will lock the gear on there so that it won't come out. Of course, that's got to be attached. But Anyway, that's what we've done then to make sure that's back to where to function properly. Okay, <clears throat> there's the piece installed now. And uh, when we take... Here and now we got a proper hole in it. And we take the little gear and we put it on here. We now have a proper hole in the gear, and line up the holes. Okay, anyway. put a pin through there we cut that off then this gear is nice and tight we don't have to worry about it coming off at some point and uh, that feels much better I'm glad that uh, we got that done so anyway the pin comes out then the gear comes off and this is restored in a proper manner. Okay, put these new pins in here. And if we take one of these new cut pins and just stick them in these holes, there. Look. These are two. Just yeah, I used this whole thing for years, but just to take those holes, put them under the punch, one little wrap, and that closes the hole a little bit. Oh, I missed that one. Anyway, we could just strike it in, but what I will do is I will take a tiny drop Put it in the hole. Put the pin in. So this one. And then gently tap that. And that will then be in there tightly. Got two new ones. Alright, we'll continue around. We'll put the rest of those pins in. Okay. New pins. Ready to go. Next thing then is I get this all cleaned. And let's put this back on. And that goes this way.
positions of the wheels. Here you've got the escape wheel, second wheel, main wheel, main wheel. Then you get the cam. This has to be up. This notch has to be up, so it's going to hook on this. And the warning wheel, instead of being on the top like most movements, is going to be down here close. Because as soon as this drops here, this has got to hit that and shut off. And then you get the, uh, the fan up here. Now to put it all together. Okay, there's also a spring missing from that hole right there. Uh, so I found one on an old movement. It's just a needle-like device goes in there and we'll put it on. Okay, there we are, all back together. And everything looking good. A lot cleaner. Problems resolved with a little button or a little gear. And we'll test run, put it in the case, and we're ready to go. All right, we're doing a little work on this case before I put the movement in. I just want to clean the dirt off of this. And what I'm going to use is waterless hand cleaner. And we'll get the dirt off, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right. Got the dirt out of it. It's dinged up in one hand, but at least it's not dirty. And this needs to be cleaned. Okay, case is looking better, dial looks better, cleaned up. Okay, I thought these bellows were still in good shape, but when I examined these very closely, I see not such good shape. They're rotting. This one, same thing. This looked good until you look back in the corner. As soon as you lift it, you see how rotten that is. So, we're going to replace the leather on those as well. Let's see. I'm going to cut a piece. I cut around here. It's about six and a half inches. And we wanted a, about an inch here with overlap. So, I'll cut this piece is going to be one and three quarters by six and a half. And uh, this is real thin leather. And that's what we're going to use to make the new bellows. But on the hinge, so we're going we're gonna to clamp that. And then I'm going to glue this here. Gonna be the hinge. Okay, let that dry. Okay. Nice pair of surgical 
scissors. these over and glue them down. That'll seal those joints. We'll trim this off with a razor. And then we'll have a... Okay. strike on time and quit. Warning. Quit. Okay, now it should strike. Oh, uh, let's see. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Should strike 6. back together. I noticed that this minute hand has a tip broken off of it. Now I happen to have another one it has the tip on it. Here's the and uh, I have a matching Matching our hand to go. Here's the our hand. I have a matching one to go with this. Slightly different color, as you can see. However, this minute hand it has broken. It has a square hole. And this one has a round hole. And this is what it's got to go on. And the old one goes on like this square hole goes on that square post down to the base uh, but this round one is too big 
So, what I did was I took a piece of brass stock, rod, rod stock, and I cut on the leg a little nut, drilled a hole, and then filed until this just fits. Maybe. Like so. And then what I will do I put a little collar. <clears throat> I can't keep hold of it. Okay, anyway. A little collar on it. And what I will do now is take this new hand and broach out that hole until this nut fits in there. And then I will force this in, glue it in, and when I glue it in, it'll then be a fit. Okay, broached out the hole, so that now snaps in and gives it a square hole. And now that will allow this to go on like so. So better be glued like so. Okay. And then to attach that we have another nut that screws onto that and that will further hold it in place. new hand on there. So uh, it'll make it much better and it will replace this same style. Just the tip is not broken off. Okay, bellows. There's what they look like. This is the one that goes over here, and that's the long, long one. being held by a screw and a nail. These are held with two screws.
Okay, so we are with that. And then all we got left is to put on. Pendulum wire. And we want to go through here. This is the bottom. Put that here. Crimp this. Okay, I put new hands on. I adjusted a couple of the numbers. I really didn't like how those were put on there. Uh, that 10 should really be down a little bit. 6 should be over just a tiny bit. But it's close enough. There's, uh, these are my weights, but Picking nicely. Now you want to see how it looks and works. Here we go. Okay, that's how the bellows sound now with the or the whistle sound with the the new leather bellows that I put on. Okay. the addition of that piece of brass to the brass lever on the strike side keeps the bird from bouncing in and out. Door opens nicely. I put new wire on that. Close this out, ship it back tomorrow. <laughs>